Right, now it's just this enrichment chain that I need, which is the two crystal growth accelerators, which I'm trying to make, which are what the hot graphite is for. Um, but I'll also need a lot of other stuff. How did you make crystal growth accelerators? Um, for that much difficulty? They're not that bad, are they? Uh, well, we don't have enough energized Certus cores, which is the first problem. Energized or charged? Energized. That's fairly easy to make. How uh, how would I go about making it? The same as the Osmium, with a bucket of biodiesel around, with eight searches around it. We've not got a fluid transposer for it. I have to use a bucket. No. Yep. Have we, oh, we don't have a bucket of biodiesel. Have we, where, where is our biodiesel now? By the diesel generator. That's the sensible place to keep it. I mean, we're not using that, but that diesel generator anymore. If we were using that, then we probably would be able to power all those excavators. But it's expensive on the wheat. Right, well, that's charged Certus Courts, not normal Certus Courts, so. We don't does have any normal work? Certus Courts. Does, does normal Certus Courts not work? No, normal Certus Courts is what I need. Charged Certus Courts doesn't work. Oh. I've got it set up so that. All of our Nord has been converted to charge because all the rest of our recipes I could see, it was it worked. So I can't, um, I can't make a crystal growth accelerator. Then. Well, when you go mining for oil shale, I'm not going mining for oil shale. I'm done with dark steel now. Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> well, you might actually go mining for surface quartz then. And I'll, I'll go disconnect the machine that's automatically charging and stuff. We almost certainly have an excavator for that. For Certus? I know we do yeah. for Nether Quartz. It should be getting Certus as well, but I'm not sure if it actually is. Well, it probably is, and you're just converting it into charged automatically. Well... <laughs> there we go. Is it disconnected? Yes. I'll turn the excavators on and we'll see what happens. Instantly two Certus Courts or three. Well, there you go. Four. Oh, they should be being automatically processed as well. Well, they're not. Well, they should be. Possibly some other all got to the processing first. Well, I need it to make eight. So the moment... Eight Certus Courts all exist. Assuming it's a one to one. I can okay. turn the excavators off again. There we go. Eight all. Right. Now, in the interests of wanting to do something today, I will bypass everything and put it in the redstone One furnace. Oh no, something else has gone in the redstone furnace first. Yeah, it's making silicon still. Can I not put Certus Quartz or in the redstone furnace? No, you need to put it in the enrichment chamber. In the pulverizer. Enrichment chamber. Enrichment chamber gets a lot more out. It does, but then I have to go and find the enrichment chamber. Wait, it's down with all the other mechanism things. If that makes sense. I know. It sounds like it's a planned out factory. What do you want to go to making sense? Uh, Alright, what am I missing fun. now? Right. That. Uh, where should I put some soap panels? Let's get 
the ultimate cables out. Right, I've got two crystal growth accelerators, finally. I just wanted an enrichment chamber. <laughs> And a pressurised reaction chamber. There we go. Got three machines. Oh, that would give me two enhanced machine chests. A bit late now. Um, next, I need to do substrate. Crush some organic materials into biofuel, then infuse it with water and hydrogen to create some substrate and ethylene. So, I can put biofuel and hydrogen and water in a PRC to make substrate. That involves making a PRC. I've got a PRC, that's fine. Ah, I thought that was a more advanced block. Fair enough. Um, so if I put that there, My electrolytic separator doesn't appear to have configurable sides. Uh, it should do. Right. We now have some solar panels. Right. Why? Oh, there's a demon sheep I in might, disguise. I might need some help. Okay, hello. Where are hello. you? I'm down with the mechanism stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm if trying that to make together. We can't automate them. <laughs> uh, right. Do they yes, not work they... like thermal expansion, where you can just shove stuff in from one machine to the other without any pipes? Uh, I've always found it a little dodgy. It should work. But we'll find out. Right. I'll have to. Otherwise, I'll have to move forward to a bank in front of all the other machines if we want to spread them out a bit. But that might be better anyway. Well, because this might get complicated quickly. Yeah. So I need to make substrate in the PRC. Okay. Let me look at the recipe for that. Substrate. So you need hydrogen and water. Yes, I've got an electrolytic separator on the left that should make hydrogen. Yes. When when given water. Yes. I've also got a rotary condensator, but I don't know what that's for. You don't need that. That comes in later. That's that's for the next quest. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, that should all be fairly doable. We just need a good water source. So that it might be better to have this upstairs mm. with the other blocks upstairs, because there's a good water source up there. Okay, I will pick it up again. Um, I just, I um, think there's biofuel down here, isn't there? Or well, there was at one point biofuel down here. Do you, where, what do you need biofuel for? Uh, to make the oh, substrate. Oh, for the recipe. Well, biofuel we just get from the crusher. The crusher automatically puts it into the infuser, metallurgic infuser at the moment. Right. There's an electrolytic separator. Wait, where's I supposed to run a wire up? Although I might need to turn that round because hydrogen goes out of a specific side. Yeah, we can. We'll figure that out when we start making it. Uh, bye. Break through the floor here. There's a brick. Break through the floor I here. I do items in There's the top. Energy in the back. Okay. Well, that one there. And fluid in somewhere. Goodness knows where. Because I always need to put water in the PRC. So actually, maybe turning this, flipping these around would be better. 
Well, we do have conduits now if you wanted to use those. Um, we could. There. That might be simple. So, for that, or we're using these fluidites. Let's use conduits so we can put everything in the same block. Because there's a lot of inputs and outputs going on here. Yeah. Both of these uh, machines well, need water. That's not too hard. So PSC, so it needs water and hydrogen in. Do you want to automatically put biofuel in? Ideally. Because we can do that. Might have to bring another cable over here. Um, I, I, I think we're on. The, this is on the way to making plastic, so I get the feeling we're going to need quite a lot of this. Yeah, I was going to automate the recipe for this. How do we make biofuel? That's in the crusher. Do we want another crusher that we can dedicate to biofuel creation? That's what I'm in the process of making. Oh, okay. I was trying to su surprise you and think ahead. It didn't work. <laughs> Get yeah, some so it's then. We can automate biofuel because we have uh, zombie flesh. And that's all we need to crush to make it. Oh, we haven't got any gas conduits. No, so. So I can, I can get a fluid conduit which. Out. Uh, I honestly I don't know. Around the front? Well, so I would have the electricity separated the other side, I think. Right. So, let me... so it's hydrogen on the left, and we want hydrogen, yeah? Yes. Okay, so electricity separated goes there. I think that does take in water at the front anyway. Right, so I want that to be on insert only. I want this to be on extract only. Then this will also need water. Which we can give it to the front. Doesn't appear to connect properly, but... Uh, side config. You want fluid in at the front? Yeah. Uh, it might not be happy with this type of... It might not be happy with conduits, then. If I go for basic... Give them mechanical pipes. We need hot graphite for that. And we're going to need some sort of gas pipe. There we go. It's not. Me mechanical either. pipe is the item pipe, not the fluid pipe. I knew that. <laughs> Which pipe is it again? Uh, I don't know. I just know it's not the mechanical one. Pressurized tube. That would make sense, but that that could be gas. But it's it's mechanical pipe. Is it? Logistical transporters items. Oh, it is the mechanical pipe. What's the what's the what's the item pipe then? Logistical transporter. Right. That's. You will need to hit it with a configurator. Do we have a configurator? Yes, because we had to use configuration to fix the one on the smell tree. Yes. So that's um, going in there and out there. That is still not working. Definitely got fluids at the front. Hmm. Weird. Maybe it really doesn't like the front of this machine. Possibly. 
makes it a bit more awkward. I mean, what if, if I can put in a pipe? No, no, just the, nothing connects to this machine. Okay, I can get a conduit to connect to the side. Okay. So is it just the front? It doesn't matter. So it might just be the front. So if I put a conduit in the side and configure that... I mean, it still doesn't appear to be putting any water in, but it connects visually, so that's an improvement. Alright, I'm making a way to connect up the gas. This has become very complicated very quickly. So the PRC holds basically no power. Does it not? Yes. That isn't a lot, is it? 800 RF. Oh, this is holding 64 kilo RF. So... Um, we're not getting any... It might be working, we're not getting any water through because you've frozen the water blocks. Oh, well that might do it. I'll take off my yeah. boots. Uh, the alternative is we just supply water through the computer. Because that's what computers... There we go, we've got water now. Transporting water. 